Last week I resigned as a professor because it never allowed me to meet my basic needs and frankly I don't enjoy teaching anymore now that every day we ignore the ongoing genocides. So many of my students are attending or absent sick and I'm the only one ever masking. I have a new remote job I start soon. Don't ask me to do any more unpaid academic service work. I'm continuing everything else I do. Ultimately, I know I've always been in odds with academia because my research and ethics are oppositional in an elitist, nepotistic environment. To be clear, I didn't resign as a professor because I'm burned out. I have no problem managing everything I do academically, but I'm being paid an unlivable wage, circumstances I'm expected to work in are inhumane and unsafe, and the overall failure of students is why I resigned. I've always been ethically misaligned with academia. Realistically, my presence in oppositional research always was in this industry. I make critical mediological critiques for liberation, and then the profit-oriented data codependent R1 specialists get the tenure track job. Higher education administration must know that when they don't pay millennial faculty who go above and beyond with teaching, research, and service what we need to live, despite our unbelievable and unnecessary debt and make our work environment unsafe, there's no incentive for us to stay here. After everything I've learned about the way that degree mills have formed and functioned and other failures of corporatized education, you really can't tell me that administration don't know what they're doing. At the same time, millions of dollars in humanities departments are being cut. It's either administrators willfully gutting higher education from the inside out or a system so terribly rotten from the inside out by a profit orientation that it truly doesn't even consider the humanity of its faculty, students, or anyone else on campuses. I'm not sure which is more gruesome. And the real gag is we know it's both. It's been so well documented already.